Hey guys, welcome to our channel where I talk all things science and tech. I say our channel meaning you and me I'm a sweetheart that way. Today we're diving into the world of MHD generators, or magnetohydrodynamic generators. First things first, what exactly is an MHD generator? Essentially, it's a power generation system that uses a combination of magnetic fields and electrically conducted fluids, like molten metal or plasma, to produce electricity. So how does it work? Well, a magnetic field is applied to the conductive fluid and this creates an electric current within the fluid. As the fluid moves, through the magnetic field, a voltage difference is also created, and it's this voltage difference that we use to generate electricity. The fluid is typically heated to high temperatures to increase its conductivity and make it more efficient at generating electricity. Now, you might be thinking, that sounds pretty cool and all, but how do we actually go about constructing an MHD generator? Well, there are a few key components that you'll need. First and foremost, a magnetic field source. This could be a permanent magnet or an electromagnet, depending on the design. The strength of the magnetic field will affect the efficiency of the generator, so it's important to choose a suitable magnet. Next, you'll need a conductive fluid. This could be a liquid metal, like sodium or potassium, or a plasma created by heating a gas to extremely high temperatures. The fluid should have a high electrical conductivity, and a suitable operating temperature range. You also need a container to hold the conductive fluid and the magnetic field source. This container needs to be made of a material that can withstand the high temperatures and pressures of the fluid. Finally, you'll need power handling equipment, like heat exchangers, pumps, and transformers to safely convert the electrical energy generated by the MHD generator into a usable form. Now, I know that all sounds a bit complicated, and it is. But don't worry, I'm not going to go into all the math and physics behind it all. But, just know that it requires a lot of calculations and precise measurements to get everything right. So, is it practical to build an MHD generator? The short answer is no, not yet. The technology is still in the research phase, and it's not yet available for commercial use. But, there are companies like Nelt in the US who are working on it and making progress. Now, even though MHD generators aren't quite ready for commercial use yet, there are still some potential advantages over traditional power generation methods. For example, MHD generators can operate at much higher temperatures and can potentially be more efficient. However, there are also some drawbacks to MHD generators. For one, they require high temperatures and high pressures to operate, which can be difficult and dangerous to achieve and maintain. This makes them challenging and expensive to construct and operate. But overall, MHD generators are an exciting area of research with a lot of potential. Who knows, maybe in the future, we'll all be generating our own power with our own little MHD generators. But for now, we'll just have to wait and see. Thanks for watching guys, if you have any questions or comments, leave them down below and I'll do my best to answer them. And as always, don't forget to subscribe for more energy and power generation content. See you next time.